Hey now, I'm Khalib Thompson and it's time for the weekly entertainment roundup brought to you by Jamaicans.com and Caribcast.tv. Shonda Paul now has his fifth US number one reggae album and good for him. Sean snagged the number one spot on the Billboard reggae charts and Japan music charts last week for his latest album release, Full Frequency. His rise to continued success has been assisted by collaborative singles Want Them All With Conscience and Riot with Damian Marley and by a promotional US tour that has even taken him to the stage at the Arsenio Hall show. Unfortunately, Snoop Lion made sure that Sean's top status was short-lived. Reincarnated is back at number one this week. Sigh. AJ Brown officially has a full-time job. With the passing of beloved reggae icon Bunny Ruggs, lead singer of the Third World Band, AJ Brown, a popular Jamaican vocalist who had been filling in for Ruggs occasionally over the past year of his illness, has now been granted full membership status in the band. Third World is no stranger to shakeups, although this time losing one of their foundation members has hit them especially hard. Still, they're looking forward to a promising future with Brown at the mic. The Belize International Film Festival has moved their submission deadline back. Belize's National Institute for Culture and History is calling all filmmakers to submit their high-content value film and music videos to their ninth annual International Film Festival. While the festival is open to and receiving entries from around the world, it was conceptualized to encourage the creation of film products in Belize. Festival director Suzette Zayden says they don't always have money for incentives or grants to local filmmakers and that this event at least gives them a platform to showcase their work. Barrington Levy is speaking up about the horrid direction of dancehall music. The veteran reggae singer, in a quote from the Jamaica Gleaner, says of crass young artists including X-rated Ricky Carty, Alkaline and Jay Amsterdam, they are surrounded by a lot of hotheads that cannot steer them in the right direction. Some have argued that they need guidance while others defend their right to free speech. I guess they feel like Miley Cyrus's success with Wrecking Ball can translate in a patois. And in our final installment of This Week in the Case of Cartel, the verdict has been read. All arguments are closed, all summations are done, and a jury of 11 has found the embattled Bleachy Brown entertainer and three of his co-accused guilty of murder. Some of the streets of downtown Kingston were closed to vehicular traffic in the hours leading up to the verdict. Crowds swarmed the courthouse but seemed stunned rather than furious at the jury's decision. The gang of four will be going away for a long time for their parts in the 2011 murder of Clive Lizard Williams. But since the trial is over, I wonder what we'll talk about now. If you have an opinion on any of these topics, share it with us at jamaicans.com or contact me directly on Twitter at Kaleeb. Are you ready to reach the world with your event, business, or product? Our weekly entertainment roundup is syndicated to over 60 radio stations worldwide. We invite you to become a sponsor today. Contact us at news at jamaicans.com. Catch even more Jamaican and Caribbean news headlines, opinions, and general content at jamaicans.com and caribcast.tv. I'm Khalib Thompson. That's it for us on this edition of the Weekly Entertainment Roundup.